Thank you. Technology now plays a big role in helping us to plan and track our health and wellness. Yeah, but fraud and consumer experts have a warning for anyone using the apps or devices that track and collect that health information. Here's Patrick Nelson with everything you need to know in a story you'll only see here on News 5. The technology available through these health apps are helping people manage things like diabetes, their heart health, fertility, and even their sleep patterns. But in the process, these apps gather lots of information that could be valuable to marketing companies and fraudsters. On the App Store, the security is very low or even non-existent. So if you're looking for a smartphone app to help track your next workout or any aspect of your health, fraud experts say it's important to understand why the information you're sharing matters. It, it could be your, your heart information, your doctor's information, your um, you know, calorie counters, I mean, whatever it might be, uh, it's releasing a lot of very, very sensitive information into the world. Uh, and, and that can be used against you. The Federal Trade Commission is concerned enough that it put out an alert recently saying, quote, health apps and other connected devices that collect personal health data are not only mainstream and have increased in use during the pandemic, but are targets ripe for scammers and other cyber hacks. Yet, there are still too few privacy protections for these apps. Let's say they have this information on you. They contact you back by robocall, robotext, um, and then they add legitimacy. Federal officials are working to increase accountability for tech firms that abuse our sensitive health information where companies can use this data to feed behavioral ads or power user analytics. If you are going to download and use a health app, here are some safety tips from Dr. Fraud. First, read reviews thoroughly. Then determine if the designer or sponsor of the app is a company you trust. Finally, if the app doesn't have a large number of downloads and users, it could be a red flag. And he says, don't forget about apps that were never deleted or still may be running in the background on your device, tracking you and your information. Look at your settings, make sure it's, it's deleted out of all of those, you know, uh, little intricate areas where it still could be, could be resting. A lot of people think too, just because they take it off their homepage, it's actually deleted from their system. That's not actually true. They might've just deleted an icon. A new federal rule now requires health apps that collect our information to notify us if our health information is compromised through a data breach. And if companies don't follow through, they'll be subject to large fines. I'm Patrick Nelson for News 5.